cocoa? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, it's got a little marshmallows on this side. Ooh. Yummy? Yeah. That is delicious. Merry Christmas to you and me and my cocoa. Silver bells. No, just kidding, guys. Today is a nice, cozy evening vlog. I feel like I've been saying that quite a few evenings, but it's true. That's kind of like the majority of what Christmas is. It's this nice, cozy family time, and you just kind of relax, drink some hot cocoa, watch Christmas films, and that's kind of what you do. Cook baked goods or bake cook baked goods, whatever. But today is coming on the heels of yesterday's trip to New York City. If you haven't watched that vlog, please go and watch that now. We got a few good clips, but it's not as good as I feel like it could have been. And the big reason for that isn't just because that we've been there already and kind of gotten the lay of the land, recorded, taking pictures and everything. So it was kind of, not that it wasn't special, but we've kind of been there, done that kind of thing. But the big reason why, everything was packed, and I mean jam-packed, like canned sardines. It was ridiculous. Like we went to go see the Christmas tree at, at Rockefeller Plaza, and probably, uh, oh, I don't know. It seemed like there was a billion and three people at that freaking spot. At one point when we were leaving, we were literally like, chest to butt to leg with the entire city. So we were all just shuffling, trying to get from place to place. Babies were almost getting ran over. It was a complete and utter just cluster over there. And it's kind of difficult to vlog when you are like this far away from 20 people and everybody's pushing everybody out the way. So that was really, kind of the obstacle we were dealing with was all the cool stuff that we were seeing and the festivities that were going on. It was all pretty packed. I mean, there was no real way to get any sort of one-on-one -on -one or clips that were meaningful. So if that feels kind of sparse or lacking in festivities and just the general Christmas spirit, now you guys know why. Not for a lack of trying, because I, shoot, I definitely tried to get a few clips, but we did the best we could. Hopefully you guys can find some enjoyment out of it. We we're still able to see the tree in the holiday market. There was a lot of good stuff still in that vlog. So again, if you guys haven't seen it, please give it a watch and like it. Comment down below some good Christmas holly jolly stuff. Maybe comment like the coolest place you've been on Christmas. If that's your grandma's house or if that's New York City or someplace else, go ahead and tell us, let us know. But again, tonight is just kind of like a relaxing, chill sort of night, drinking hot cocoa, gonna eat some dinner, watch a Christmas movie, and uh, spend some quality time with one another. So yeah, that's kind of what we got planned. The Christmas tree just reminded me of something else I wanted to say, and that's I love Christmas time because Marissa always makes it feel like such a home, like so cozy, and the holiday season is definitely upon us right now because of the way that she decorates and take care, takes care of our home. And we're kind of in this season, I guess, if you will, right now where we're trying to hone in our own Christmas traditions, not just for each other, but for our kids one day so that we can pass it on and kind of, you know, breathe life into, I, I don't know, just breathe our own life into the holidays. And that's kind of one of those things that keeps things feeling kind of homey and cozy, whether you take stuff from your families and you bring it into your own holiday traditions or if you make up your own, that's kind of just one of those mood setters or ways that you can you can make the holidays feel very special and very intimate with one another. So I highly suggest if you guys are spending time away from home or if you just kind of want to, I don't know, find something like different or, or if you're struggling to make the holidays feel like the holidays, like give that a try. Just find some stuff on Google or ask your parents, grandparents, whoever, some holiday traditions. That way you can start to kind of integrate those into your house and make things kind of feel a bit more unique, more intimate and, and cozy with one another. I wish you guys could smell the house right now. I've had a roast going 
in the crock pot all day and I'm so excited to eat it. It's my first time doing this specific recipe so I will link it in the description box if it turns out any good but I feel like it's going to be so flavorful. It's cooking with carrots and mushrooms and onion and then it's in like this gravy mixture that was mixed with um, coffee and I think it called for a cabernet but I just had a red blend. That was the only wine I had in the house so um, I kind of just used what I had and tweaked the recipe to fit um, what we had in the house but I feel like it's going to be so so good and I'm so excited. The house smells delicious. Chase is working on cleaning up dinner which is like sort of a negotiation deal that we've came to is I cook dinners and he cleans up which is awesome because I absolutely hate doing the dishes so I think it's a I think it's a fair trade what do you think yeah except whenever you cook you make a whole typhoon come through the kitchen so <laughs> I do I, the whole thing. I make such a mess when I cook I just like fling things everywhere I always forget to clean up as I go so I actually kind of feel bad for Chase but um, I just get in the zone one I love cooking like it is relaxing to me but I'm also like very focused because I never like want to mess it up or anything like that I feel like I'm still like I feel like I'm still in the learning stages of cooking like I try to cook a lot of new recipes so um yeah, I'm like very focused on what I'm doing, but this roast turned out so delicious. I think the recipe said to cook it on low for about eight to ten hours. I did around eight and a half, nine hours, and I feel like that was so perfect. The tenderness was just, it was awesome. I feel like it had a very rich flavor to it. It was, re it was really good. I definitely recommend. We'll probably make it again. Um, and I think Chase's favorite roast that I make though is the Mississippi pot roast. I have the exact recipe that I use saved to my Pinterest. I've been trying to update my Pinterest recipes as we find like successful ones. I have like a hidden board for like I need to try these recipes and then I have like a public board for like we tried these and we love them. So if you guys are ever in need of like a new dinner recipe or a side, dessert, whatever it might be, definitely check out my Pinterest because I've been trying to update it as we find like a good successful recipe. But I definitely recommend trying out this one. It was really good, really tender, flavorful and I served it with mashed potatoes, a little glass of wine. It's just a really nice dinner. Holy one. Anyway Well guys, I can't talk for too long because we're in a heated <laughs> a heated monopoly game. It's Actually, we're not even like in the middle of it. We're like still kind of in the start of the game. Like we have properties, but it's not where you have houses and everything. But I want to show you guys our little house rules, okay? Not everybody has house rules. We take game nights very seriously. But we take it very serious, okay? Monopoly's no freaking joke in this house, <laughs> all right? So these are the house rules we developed. <clears throat> so the first time around the board, each player can only buy two properties. That's just kind of making the more making the game a bit more fun and more cause, strategic, like, strategic. yeah and more strategic because then you have to kind of carefully plan what you can buy if you land on go you collect 500 this one just is another added kind of like bonus spot almost mm -hmm. if you're just visiting jail so if you land on jail but you're not like in jail like the go to jail spot you must say hi to your uncle before you leave or you pay 50 dollars into the center this is just like <laughs> a quirky one that i think i came up with mm -hmm. i don't even know if you're in jail, you can't collect rent because like that just seemed to make sense at the time and it was just another kind of added penalty or bonus in the game. 
land on free parking, then you collect the board money. So I always played that. I always played that way where when you landed on free parking, it wasn't just like a spot where nothing happened. You collected what was in the center. And then all the community fees go to the center of the board. So anytime it tells you like you have to pay something, unless it's to the banker, oh, you know we put it in the center, what? We were putting our income tax in the bank and not on the board. Yeah, because it's a tax. I know, but we were used to put it on the board that way when you get the free parking, you get it. Oh, parking. yeah. Well, because, I mean, that doesn't really make sense to be honest. Wow, that angle, I goofed it. I goofed that angle, don't yell at me. But yeah, because um, that doesn't really make sense. But Your I remember we did that for fun. The they go to like the... Well, yeah, but it goes to the high... You know what? Anyways, <laughs> that's our house rules. That's how we play in the middle of a heated game. I can't talk anymore because I'm trying to murder this game. Okay, so I will talk to you guys. Well, I don't know. We'll see if we're still married by the end of it. <laughs> All right, guys. So you know how I read that house rule where if you land on free parking, you get what's in the center? Well, here's the center right now. It's Buku Dollars. And for four turns in a row, I've been a single, a single number off on my roll to get all that money. One number gets me there, and I get there. And Marissa, over the past three turns, has gotten $1,250. So, yeah, it's going to be a good game. Okay, you guys know how Chase kept missing this spot by one? Well, I just rolled it with my little 10 here. I just rolled it. How much did you say was in here, Chase, when you just counted? Mm -hmm. 12 1250. That means in the past less than 10 turns, you've made a lot of money. $2,450. Are you okay? Are you okay? No! No, I'm not okay. Clearly, I'm not good. I'm not okay. Not fine. I'm about to go to bed after this. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty I'm well. I'm going to bed after this. I am such a sore loser, and that was, I knew you were getting it. It was just a matter of when. Oh, another fun game of Monopoly in the books. And as per usual, I won again, oh. obviously. I got destroyed. Let me let me just recap real quick before the battery dies what happened. So Marissa collects everything that's in the center, right? Right, okay, great. So she does that. She throws some hotels on her little area of death. I roll the perfect number to miss anything safe and hit one hotel. And then all I had to do was not roll two. Not roll two, and what do I do? I roll two. I roll two. two and that hotels. bankrupt me. I hit two <laughs> hotels back to back. back to back. Two! So that concludes tonight's festivities. <laughs> I'm, I'm, ooh, man, that was a bad, that was such a bad game for me. It was just so like lucky that she made all that money and then I got obliterated. So, She's just better than me. It's pretty clear. She's She outsmarted me, okay? There, I said it. She outsmarted me. I decided, guys, while I'm sitting here licking my wounds over that massive L that I just took from Monopoly, I'm just going to close out the vlog because we don't really have anything else going on. We're kind of just wrapping up for the night. I think I'm going to record or record, edit the podcast that we recorded and then hit the hay because I am exhausted. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, and everything. If you enjoyed the video and whatever that was, please hit the like button. Make sure you hit subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any one of our uploads. Comment something good down below. Just, I don't know, maybe a tradition that you guys have in your family or with your spouse. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next one.